Hey everyone, how's it going? Have you guys noticed that when you buy bikes with SRAM drivetrains, quite often you don't get a serious cranks? Also, quite often you're gonna see this. Truvative, powered by SRAM. The two cranks that they have are the Stylo and Descendant. But what are these? Are they any good? Let's take a closer look at this uh, Stylo 6K crank set and solve that mystery. The reality is that Strom bought Truvative back in 2003-2004 and they kept the brand around. I think they kept it around mostly to have a cheaper option or offering than the SRAM. But again, are they any better or worse than something like the Eagle SX? All the cool stuff is here on the box. You see Eagle but no logo. You see Dove as a bottom bracket. That 6K is funny. That's the 6000 series aluminum that these are made of and Stylo as a product name. Here on the side of the box, you get the label. Well, this looks like any other SRAM label that I've ever looked at. Manufacturing date, that's the SRAM code for it. Made in Taiwan. And also that's the product description or details. 170 millimeter long, 32 tooth chain ring. And inside the box, ta-da! Here is the crank set. And surprise, surprise, you get the same leaflet from SRAM sending you to their websites. This is a two-piece crank arm. So you have the right side arm with the direct mount chain ring attached to it. You see that this is using a dub bottom bracket. And the finish, this is very similar to what I saw on the SX. Stylo seems to be painted on the crank, wondering if this wears out over time. On the back, you're gonna see that this is a 170 millimeter length crank, and you see the cutouts here in the aluminum just to shape some weight. If you look carefully at this, this looks just like the SRAM Eagle NX cranks, and this is shaped differently than the SX cranks as you see it over here. So this definitely seems to be the Eagle NX design. Because the cranks use the same direct mount chain rings, they offer a lot of flexibility. I bought this one as being a non-boost crank, but here's the thing. Just by replacing the chain ring, you make this a boost crank, which is what I need. Non-boost is signified here by the 6mm offset chain ring. If I just replace it with this 3mm offset chain ring, I made my uh, crank set boost compatible. There is that. Also, the direct mount chain ring allows you to install third party chain rings like this one. So this would be an oval that is made for SRAM cranks. So very easy to upgrade your cranks like that. The chain rings that come with these cranks are the steel ones. And you see the Eagle logo over here, exactly the same Xing 2 technology. Of course, uh, Eagle made by SRAM and somewhere here in the back says uh, SRAM chains only. These steel chain rings come standard with the SX and NX cranks. And obviously they are uh, fully interchangeable with the aluminum chain rings that come with the GX, X01 and XX1 because they are pretty much the same, just made out of different materials. This one will shave about 70 grams of weight from the overall weight of your crank. The left crank arm has the pedal washers attached to it. That's a nice touch. The dub 28.99 axle that everybody makes fun of and you have the same preload adjuster like with all the other SRAM cranks. The dub axle requires the dub bottom bracket and yes they have them uh, threaded, press fit, you name it they have it. These are available in 165, 170 and 175 millimeter length uh, which is more than what Shimano offers with their Dior crank sets. Weight of my crank set is 709 grams. That's about 70 grams lighter than the SX cranks that I looked at not too long ago. And guess what? This weight is the same one with Eagle NX. So this is definitely seem to be rebranded Eagle NX cranks. Also remember that if you install this aluminum chain ring, you're gonna shave another 70 grams off of that 
And guess what? That brings you very close to an Eagle GX crankset that is way more expensive than this. But if you're looking for that GX-like crankset, look for their descendant version of their Trovator cranks. They seem to be pulling the same trick with these cranks as well. When it comes to installation, well, this is a dub two-piece Eagle crank, so it would be identical with what I've showed you guys in my SX cranks video. I'm gonna make sure I link that up in the corner. So are these the budget cranks from SRAM? I think so, but I bet these are designed by the original uh, Trovative engineers, probably the same engineers that design all the SRAM cranks today. So if you were to find either the Stylo or the Descendant Truvative cranks out there in the marketplace, I would strongly recommend them as opposed to the NX and GX, especially if you were to save a couple of bucks. So what do you guys think? Have you ever used cranks like this? Have you used the dub based cranks from SRAM? What is your experience with them? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you found this useful and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media, and until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.